Hi, I'm Steve Dunn. You may know my works from films like The Mechanical Detective or my portrayal of Ivan Malinov. I would like to invite you to this splendid occasion to enjoy the finale of Final Fantasy Origins. Welcome back to Your Weird Parents Playing Final Fantasy, and here we are at the Dark Temple of Chaos, facing off against Chaos. <laughs> so, uh, let's see how this goes. Um, I don't know how well it's going to go. But, let's do uh, it. We're going to give it a try. We're going to do it. Yeah. And uh, you guys might notice that our HP is a little bit higher. Uh, there are reasons for that. We we did some offline work. Yeah, we uh, leveled up a little bit. Yeah, because we kind of had to. <laughs> well done. Don't you look familiar. Don't remember me? I'm Garland. Yep. <gasps> Yep, you certainly are on my tree right 2, now. 2,000 years into the future. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you killed me. But the four great forces sent me back in time, thus resurrecting me in the past. Is that how time works? Uh, I guess. <laughs> nah, nah, man, nah. I thought what? Time, I, I thought time was linear. The Wheel of Time, Robert Jordan, revolves eternally. I sent the four fiends of chaos into the future. 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 <laughs> and they shall once again send my future self into the past. Not if you did, brother. I'm going to kill it. Two thousand years from now, I will lose all memory of the past. Dude. Oh, he got... That's a glow up. Yeah, that's one hell of a glow up. <laughs> but in the past, I will be reborn yet again. Your lives shall end here, and mine shall last forever. Ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Time to get it on. Yeah. Let's just uh, take some time to appreciate that, that background there. Yup. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Lots okay. of stuff going on. Yeah. So, I, yeah. giant gloves. Giant gloves. Magic. Steel. Magic. Haste. And yes, I will call out all of my attacks. And well, it's a good anime. White That's robe. what you do. For, white robe? Yes, white robe. White robe. Absolutely. Yep. So cast that steel, and then he's going to use him, him as giant gloves. Haste. So fast. So very fast. Yes. And then, yeah, then you're going to need it. Yeah, there you go, Roosh. Hell yeah. And Hopefully we're invisible enough. Boof. Lots nope. of damage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, attack. attack. Should I use no ice? Um, yeah. Doesn't he have that blizzard attack? Yeah, he does. Okay. And then... Um, he should... Uh, haste on the second guy? Uh, no, steal? Yeah, haste on the second guy. And then... Another way, room? Yep, absolutely. Ah, oh, fudge. Shit. Didn't get it off in time. Yeah. That's okay. We'll be all right. Can I haste this guy up? Do, do, do. And then uh, next cure time three. round, Rose should yeah. cure three on Rose. Got it. Yep. Well, now uh, next okay. time that he does yeah. the ice storm, we'll be okay. Yep. Way room? Yep. And then cure three. A little bit of cure three. On him. A little bit of cure three in my life. Yep. Give me more life. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh. Good thing. Because <laughs> he would have been dead. Yep. Dead as hell. Yep. There you go. Okay, attack. Giant's gloves. Forgot about the giant's gloves. Yep. Um, he should do support, so white robe. And then he should heal again. Yeah. Another rosé? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if rosé is going to make it. Not going to make it. No, nah, he, he might. He surprised us before. 
Oh. Well, Rouge didn't make it. <laughs> All right, well, that kind of sucks. All right, so this is going to be a healing round of some kind for um, Rosé should attack. King Crimson should attack. Hold on, just checking out. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, he should... Uh, what? Or... Not much point. Okay. Um, he should heal... I only got... I don't have any heals on this guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, bolt free. Give it a shot. It's the highest spell we can cast. So hopefully that helps in some way. Well, it did something. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Attack. Attack. Uh, yeah, magic. Bolt three. Yep. Uh, did we do it? No, he's going to heal himself for 9,000 damage or, or 999 or whatever. Mm, I don't Maybe know. Maybe not. It's looking pretty... Uh, could it have been successful? Yeah. We could have potentially... We have done this fa battle no less than 30 this is, times. Yeah, this is like the, the 32nd time or something stupid. Yeah. So uh, that's a surprise. All that right. certainly looks like we killed him. Yep. So I'm just going to tack this right on to the end of four. <laughs> All right. Well, um... Thank you for joining us on this journey through Final Fantasy. But we can watch these cute little cutscenes at the end. Yes. And uh, see how we feel about it. Wow. The time loop has was severed at last. Yes. Time loop. The time The loop. time break. The <laughs> battle spanning 2,000 years came to an end, and peace prevailed. Prevalid. Prevalid, even. <laughs> the light of the four crystals revived the wind, water, earth, and fire. September. <laughs> it all began with a trivial misunderstanding, but was enough to open Garland's heart to darkness. Yeah. <clears throat> it's all Garland's fault. We wouldn't be here. His hatred swelled with the four forces of nature, and from it were born the four fiends of chaos. Chaos. Evil swallowed the world, gulp, plunging all into darkness. Rude. <laughs> it all came from a misunderstanding. But that is now past. The stuff of legends, thanks to the courage and strength of the four warriors, all has been set right again. Yay! And now it's going to go through to all the little people. Oh, no. Nope. The, the wa warriors will travel in time once more. The world to which they return will be restored to its natural state. But it makes you wonder if the people are ever going to remember. Princess Sarah, Queen Jane, and even Garland will be there, oblivious to what has happened in that time. Twisted, Twisted dimension. dimension. <laughs> but when did it all begin? This is the mind fuck. The source of the chaos lay in the strand of time that looped around to connect 2,000 years. Will you just be doing this again and again forever? Four warriors were chosen by the very forces <clears throat> that had plunged the world into darkness. These four forces were the key to banishing the darkness as well. Yeah. And when everything was over... The memory of the four warriors' journey into the past was destined to be lost forever. And we all know that which is not saved is lost. Yes. <clears throat> but their deeds will survive in people's hearts as legend. The tales will be passed down for generations to come. And 40 years later, we're still playing this game. <laughs> Dwarves and elves, <laughs> dragons... People who reach for the stars all will cherish the tales of the four red boys. Four red boys. The warriors are returning. The earth's healing, traveling <laughs> back from the world 2,000 years past with the memory of their journey buried deep within their hearts. They will carry on their lives and watch over the world. Rosé is going to go get himself a piece of ass. Never forget. <laughs> the light of this world must always be guided in the right direction. Yeah. 
Which is Rosé getting a piece of ass. <laughs> if it goes astray. Ashtray. <laughs> Darkness will come again and again. <laughs> and again. And again. <laughs> a crystal shines within every heart. Oh. Wait. Is that right? A crystal <laughs> gleams within your heart, too. For you are the one who fought the battle spanning 2,000 years. You were there. You were there. You, you did saw it. it. It was live. You were there when the old from ma- your couch from the, the the old magic was written or whatever. Yeah. So the thing that okay now what's more may the world be blessed with light for eternity. Oh, my little birdies. birdies. So the thing that I get about this, if I could editorialize for a moment, yes, is by going back in time, they've created the legend of themselves. Yes. So. The thing that prompted them to go forward and become heroes was the fact that they already went back and became heroes. Correct. That's the mind fuck. Yes. Look at all these beautiful people. They're just real the happy to be alive. They're people. They're just chilling. Yeah. Little elves. Thank you, Nessir. <laughs> you brought this all upon us. Whoever you are. Yoshitaka Amano. Good stuff. Good character designs. Yep. Oh, that's my boy. Kenji Tirada. <laughs> wrote the story. The if, scenario. If you will. It's a scary scenario. We're going to go pick up some stuff from the tent out in the f- middle of the desert. Yeah, we're going to go see if they bottle another fairy, and then we're going to kick their asses for bottling fairies. What the hell are you doing bottling fairies? Look, Come on. Look, you know, the mermaids returned. Aww. They're nice. That's Princess Sarah. And uh, Queen Jane. And if you talk about Kaizo, Kaizo's the guy. Remix that. Remake? Yeah. Remix? Because, uh, guys, we've been playing Origins this whole time, so like, if you go back and play Final Fantasy, uh, some of the translations are different. It's true. And it makes it a little bit harder to play the game. Also, a couple of the mechanics were changed and fixed. Uh, For example, Confuse never used to work in Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. But uh, because in Origins, they fixed some of the mechanics. That's one of the mechanics they went back and fixed. Elemental shit actually has to do with elemental shit. So it's it's pretty cool. This is just good stuff. I like the the cutscenes are just so much better than, than any of the graphics in the game. Yep. Like you, and it was that way even in the original. Yeah. But this is you know far improved. Right. This is a title for the PS One, mm-hmm. um, like end of era PS One. So like they, it was end of life, and they made this game. Actually, I think the PS Two had been out for several years at this point, but they specifically made it a PS One title. I'm not really sure why, but into it. Real into it. Yep. One of the reasons that we had to uh, buy a PS3 that could play PS1 games was because I have a plethora of PS1 games that we can play. It's true. So I do enjoy playing uh, the PS1 titles. There are a few PlayStation games that I used to have that I've been trying to track down copies of that um don't they're they're very rare apparently. Yeah. Apparently, Legend of the Legend of Dragoon is uh, hard to find. Yeah. But that was uh, that was one that I really enjoyed. Yeah. Got a very uh, anime um, fantasy kind of vibe to it. Yeah. And of course, you know, long sense of sold it or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I, uh, yep, I sold all. If you'd of, only known. If I'd only known. I sold all of my, uh, my, my PlayStation, my original, not original PlayStation. I, I got a PlayStation when they started calling it the PlayStation 1. So it was after the advent of the two, because uh, the PlayStation, the original PlayStation, got real cheap. Yeah. After the PlayStation Two came out. Yeah. So it was in that weird time in between what's not quite a collector's item yet, but it's older technology. So they were trying to move them. Yep. So yeah, we uh, I got a co- got one at Target for like uh, I don't know like seventy bucks or something. Sheesh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, or maybe it was a hundred bucks. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. But it was cheap compared to the PlayStation Two. Yeah, that's uh, that's how um, one of my relatives actually ended up getting a um, Xbox 360. They went to Target and like 
got this amazing deal on it, and then there were other amazing deals that Target had, and like mm. it ended up that Target gave them fifty bucks or something. That's <laughs> after you configured in all the fucking uh, dope. Yeah, after you configured in all the the gift cards and shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I uh, but one of the uh, one of the games I had for the PlayStation was uh, the Legendary Dragoon Two that I mentioned, and uh, the uh, Medieval was a fun game too. You get yeah. to uh, play a reanimated skeletal uh, temp- knight templar. Yeah, and uh, it was very. Uh, um, if anybody's not played the game, it's very uh, comedic. It's like imagine like if uh, Dark Souls was written by the folks at Monty Python. That's that's yeah. kind of how it felt. Yeah. Even though it predated Dark Souls, but still, I like to feel like in a spiritual sense that uh, <laughs> medieval was an influence on Dark Souls. There they go. said, "Let's take this game and then strip all the joy from it." And now we have Dark Souls. <laughs> and then let's take Dark Souls and strip even more joy from it, and let's call it Bloodborne. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there you go. I have played That's neither right. of these games. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, thanks for hanging in with us, and uh, thanks for this. Uh, it's been it's been a joyful run through a um, a scenario that should not exist the yes. four red mage run and uh, who knows maybe uh, you know in another year we'll uh, try it again with like uh, four monks or something stupid yeah yeah four mon- <laughs> no <laughs> Four monks, you can you can find another co-pilot. That that's yeah, that's, that's a, a bit, lot. That's, that's beyond our capabilities. That's a lot. As as your weird parents. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for hanging in with us, and uh, we've really appreciated the time, the investment, and the support that you have given us throughout this. It has taken us a year to complete this. That is correct. Almost a year. Almost a year. So uh, uh, we started, I believe, in September 2020. Okay, so six, uh, like seven months. Yeah, it's been a long friggin' time. That but you know what? You. We've come to the end of it, and this is the end. It says so, right there. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, uh, thanks again for joining us, and have a great rest of your day. As we say, yes. don't stride. For, stride confidently forward in your weirdness. Yes, and we will see you next time. Uh, and we will probably take a little bit of a break after this one. We'll do a couple one-offs here and there. Right. Give ourselves a little bit more traction to go into Final Fantasy 2, because... Um, yeah, give ourselves a little break. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a little more uh, a little more involved than the first game. Yeah, just a little bit though. All but, right, all right. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.